Good morning. Very good. Love the van. Amazing. People are strange when you're a stranger. People look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down, when you're strange. People come out of the rain when you're strange. No one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. That behind me is the Berra Peninsula. You might remember I hiked those mountains last year. And so this time I'm carrying on out of Glengariff and following the, close, the, the coastline loosely down toward Bantry and we'll take it from there. I've never been in this part of the country so <laughs> this is the unknown. I'm interested to see what's up ahead. This is Gaylock's Cross in County Cork and this exact spot is where women back in the day would have traveled down to Coomhola with eggs and butter in order to stand here and trade with a Mrs. Coffee of Pearson's Bridge. And this happened week in, week out up until the 1950s when Mrs. Coffee got a car and would then go around to these ladies one by one and collect the produce in the car. There's a photograph here that shows the women back in the day trading at Gaylock's Cross. I find this really interesting and on my Ireland walk, I find it more interesting coming to places like this or coming, coming across places like this than I do at let's say the major attractions or the major destinations that people keep telling me to go to for example you know so I love just coming across these and because they happen unexpectedly it makes them all that bit more enjoyable this is gorgeous here this bridge everything about it the little green post box box post box this beautiful yellow bicycle the flowers all the old signposts and then a bridge with flowers on either side of it i love this i love this this is this is ireland <laughs> Shoulders back. <laughs> Smash it. Go in there. Go get it. You deserve it. Pixley, Sims and Co. Limited, Lay Lancashire, patent, patent. I think from watching these videos now, you should have a better idea of what I love about walking these small country roads. I mean, you're not gonna encounter the kind of things I've encountered this morning up on the trail in the wild. It's a different type of adventure. It mixes, us up, mixes it up in a different way, right? So I love being out in the wild, but I equally at times like to be doing what I'm doing now. Hey, this is Ballylicky. It's just a, uh, a junction, pretty much. But to my absolute surprise, 
There's a cafe right here, Oscar's Cafe. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, yes. This is such a, just such a glorious day, isn't it? Just, isn't, isn't it just a glorious day? It really is. The rain is back. It rained for about an hour and it looks as though it may start again soon. I don't mind though because I was going up this hill on sheep's head and it kept me cool. So it's all good. I think that out there in the mist is Dursey Island. I can't be sure. I think it's Dursey Island. I imagine the view from up here would be much better if it wasn't so foggy but it still feels good to be up here all the same I do think it's gonna start raining in early evening though so I want to try and get to where I'm going and try not to get all my gear wet basically so let's keep going I stayed in Dunbeacon campsite last night and I was here for two nights. I sat out heavy rain yesterday and I even thought about staying again today because <laughs> it's due to rain a lot today. But I had no food left so have to walk. <laughs> anyway, it's good to be moving again. Take a look. I got lots of nettle stings there on my legs for coming in here. So it's June, to, it's, it's June, it's not, it's August. It's due to rain really heavy today in the afternoon. So I feel like this is a little bit masochistic of me. I'm headed towards Mizzen Head, but I'm gonna walk right into the rain in a very exposed area and there'll be no cafes or anything like that, so. I'm tempted just to go to school, which is just 10 kilometers this way. Just looking for somewhere to shelter. This is an old burial ground, old church here. It's just not really a nice spot to be sitting inside. So, you got to stand under these trees over here. Thing is, this could be down for hours, you know, so sooner or later I'm probably going to have to go out and walk in it, you know? There's actually a bench right up here at the top and I think it's beneath a tree. Yes. 
in memory of Jerry Kennedy. And thank you, Jeremy, Jerry. Thank you very much. Perfect. I'm sat here asking myself, what do I even need to go down to Mizzenhead for? I'd like to see it, but do I want to walk in this rain for the entire day? Just to be down there and then have to walk all the way back up again? Potentially wet tomorrow? And the answer to that is no, I don't want it. I mean, if, if it looked like it was clearing up, I'd walk down, but I don't think it's going to clear up. I'm lucky I stepped in here when I did. I would have got absolutely saturated in that. And even though I might still when I go out, at least it will have been my choice to go out and walk in it, you know, rather than get caught in it. I've decided anyway, I'm gonna head towards Skull, which means not going to Mizzen Head. And I'm gonna contact Tracy. There's a lady that runs like a camping spot on Long Island. The only thing is you have to get a ferry over there so the chances of getting onto the island today and especially with this weather considering you need a ferry I don't know if that's possible but either way I'm gonna head in the direction of Skull Things are just going so well today. I can't believe how well things are going today. I was in school having lunch and enjoying a coffee and Terry Gleason who watches these videos. How are you doing Terry? Thank you so much. Terry comes in, insists on paying for all my food and coffee and we had a chat and that was just, that's just made my day. I've left town and now I'm headed for the ferry. I was not able to get any cash out there so luckily I have enough money to pay for the ferry that I'm about to get on. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd do, because no one would give me cash back. The two ATMs were out of service. And anyway, all good. I don't have any issues right now. And we're going to the island. Let's go.